just in case you didn't know. <laughs> All right. So happy Thursday, everyone. Super excited to be here with you guys. Um, if you are not muted, please mute yourself if you can. I did set it in a setting for everybody as soon as they walk in, but I don't know why it's not doing it. So just if you're able to mute yourself, please. Um, thank you so much. We are super excited to be here with you guys. It's almost the end of the month. So much excitement is happening. Um, for those of you that don't know, we have a, uh, we started a FIB, a, a mastermind. Uh, it's kind of like a boot camp, but it's called a mastermind for executive directors and above. And it, it, there's high accountability in there. And the momentum this team is like just going through thing and I'm loving it because I'm seeing all the leaders grow and develop and they're going to be transferring all those skills to everybody so I'm super excited to see where we're all headed um we have a few announcements before we get started today the very first announcement is we are going to officially be moving to Monday nights Monday nights from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, this call will be moved effective next week. Um, and the reason that we decided on doing this is because we value time with family. Uh, we value time in business income producing. And so the best thing that we can do is put all business calls in one day. So from 5 to 5.30, I know we have community time from 5.30 to 6. It's, it's going to be like something like another community time. And then from 6 to 6.30, it's going to be our training time. So all our family is going to get together from 6 to 6.30 on Mondays. And then that way we free up another day, another evening to either spend with family or to to continue growing your business. So effective Monday, we will send reminders about that so that you know that. Second thing is convention, you guys. Convention is less than a month away. There is still space that I know there's a few hundred seats for uh, still available. So it's not too late. If you're interested in coming, let us know as soon as you can, because we also want to pair you with people in the hotels. Um, it's a lot. Okay. If you can bring your spouse, bring your spouse so that they can catch the vision, that's for sure. But if your spouse cannot come, no worries. It's a lot of fun to also, you know, it's a lot of fun to also get to meet other coaches with other coaches. Um, spend some time together, network, get out. You know, when my husband wouldn't go to convention with me, I was like a social little butterfly. I loved it. I was like, woo, I'm everywhere. I get to meet everybody. I get to talk to everybody. So please, it's still not too late to come. Let us know if you're interested in coming and we are going to do everything in our power to help you guys get there because that is going to be the best thing to catch the vision, listen to Dr. A, listen to his heart, listen to the mission. When you see him cry, you know he's for real. You can see the emotions in his face. You can see that he has a heart and a passion for people and for expanding this mission to get people healthy. So Anyway, there's that. We also want to welcome a few new faces we're looking at here. Our family continues to grow every single month. It's crazy. We continue to grow. We continue to see new people, the people that were new a couple months ago. I'm like, you're not new anymore. You're an oldie, you know, and now we're bringing on new faces. So I want to welcome Cecilia to the, to, to team leaders in progress. Welcome girl. We're so happy to have you here. Um, El Naz is on as well. Um, we are so excited to welcome her into our team. She's a part of uh, Cynthia's team. And then I see other faces in there. I see Crystal, but I'm not sure. I don't see a face there. Is there anybody else? I see Hovik on as well. Welcome, Hovik. We're super excited to have you. Um, Vanya as well. Welcome. Anybody else here who I missed out that I'd love to welcome into our team? Anybody? No. Anybody I think that Jeff is on. Jeff Marinos is on, I'm, I believe. He's new, too. Jeff Marinos? Yes, we've had him on before. But welcome, Jeff. Super. Wait, is he uh, your uh, jo Jody's brother-in-law? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> He's officially on board. What? Welcome. Yes. yes. That is so it's, awesome. Okay. It's official. Official? <laughs> oh, I yes. love it. Awesome. Well, welcome, Jeff. Welcome, everybody. We have an incredible night tonight. Um, I want to introduce you all to our amazing leader, Priscilla Nelson, and she's going to be talking about some really raw and true feelings that happen in this business. Um, and we kind of want to hear from her and I want to encourage you guys to come into this training with an open heart um, because I think this is a struggle we all have. 
Um, and this is a struggle that if you're not struggling right now, you might come and, you know, you come, you might come to this, but she has incredible value to bring us tonight. So Priscilla, you want to take it away? I do. I do. And this has been something on all of our hearts lately, and it just it tends to be a theme that's coming up. And so over and over again. And so we thought that it would be a great idea to share something with you guys, because it's one thing, you know, we always like to say that it's great to hang out with high achievers, right? That's what we do. And in our coaching community, we are constantly, you know, giving each other nudges and we're hanging out with, you know, the people in the le next levels and, you know, and the next ranks and everything like that. That's a great thing because who we're hanging with matters. And when we're hanging with high achievers, we are, you know, just kind of given the nudge to, to work a little harder and stuff like that. But with that can come the horrible thing of comparing, comparing ourselves with others. And some of you may have already know this um, statement and it's really profound and very true. And that is comparison is the thief of joy. And so we do not want to have that culture in our organizations. What we want is a culture of, you know, we're hanging out with each other, we're building each other up. And so, you know, I just kind of like took a deep dive into this subject over the last week as it's kind of come up. And I watched this really cool podcast and it was actually from someone that studied as a monk. And, um, and he gave these seven steps to help you stop comparing yourself to others. And so what we did at our coach breakfast um, on Wednesday here in Long Beach, we did just that. And we, we used one of the steps. And um, one of the steps is to discover your strengths. And so what I'd like to do tonight is I'd like to go over these seven steps that he outlined. And also utilizing that one step is discovering your strengths. What I'd like to do once we get to that part is I'm going to ask a couple of people to kind of come on, take themselves off of mute. And I've asked a few of you to do this, if you're comfortable doing that and to share one of your strengths or superpowers. Okay. And I also, when we're doing that part of it, I would love to see you guys also put in the chat. What is the strength that you have? What is the superpower that you have? Because as we'll see, one of those things, when you do that step and when you focus on your own strengths, you stop being in that comparison mode, at least in that moment. So if we get really good at working on our own strengths and thinking about our own strengths, we're not going to be in that comparison mode as much, right? Because in this business, let's face it, there is that. We all, by the way, we all are there. Even Jamil, even all the way up, we all have the comparison mentality. And what we want to do with this exercise and with just kind of these seven steps, we want to just kind of help that help break that cycle a little bit. And it takes practice, but it's a skill that we can learn. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these seven steps. And then what we're going to do is we're going to revisit that one step of discovering your strengths. And that's the little exercise that we're going to do. Okay. Sound good. Everyone ready? Start thinking about your strengths and superpowers as we start doing this, because you'll either be putting one in the chat or you'll either be called on. Okay. But only for those people that I've kind of asked in advance, because I won't, I won't do that to you. Okay. So the seven steps to stop comparing yourself to others. Here we go. Step number one, we want to define what success and happiness means to you. Okay. When you have these clearly defined, what does success mean for you with regard to your physical body? How about financially? How about emotionally and mentally and spiritually? What is success to you? Your success financially might not be to make, you know, $5 million or something like that. You are unique. And so when you clearly define what success means to you in all of those areas, it's going to help you focus on that success, what you deem successful and not watch all these other people. Oh, this person's doing this and this person's that random, blah, blah, blah. Define it for yourself. Okay. The next step, step two is 
what we were talking about, discover your strengths. Okay. And what's really cool is on this podcast that I watched, and again, he was this really cool guy and I'll post it too in Leaders in Progress. And he was, um, he studied as a monk for a while. Okay. And what he mentioned in there in discovering your strengths, he mentioned a book from Gallup that I happen to have because it, um, I'm doing this TLDP leadership course with Helen Irwin that is kind of, um, you know, just was instigated through Optavia and um, it's a great course and I'm in the middle of it. And that is one of the things that we have done. We, uh, we took a strength finders thing and it was through this Don Clifton strength finders and the guy in the podcast mentioned it. And you know what? I got to say, and anyone can have access to this if you buy the book. And I think that there's a link to it. And I don't think it's that expensive, 20 or 40 bucks. You get this whole printout about your strengths and superpowers based on this information that you fill out. And the thought is you can utilize this in your leadership because everyone's unique and everyone has complete <laughs> own strength. Okay. So that is what is so, so important and key too. So um, I love that he said, I'm like, oh my gosh, I did that. And Helen Irwin uses that. So it helps us determine our strengths and see what those are and be able to come from a form of leadership and utilize those. Okay. That's step number two. We'll come back and revisit that in a few minutes. Step number three. Study other people's pain points because what you're going to discover is that nobody has it all together. And you know, someone that you think might have it all together in some other category, you're going to realize that you know what? They have pain points. They struggle with certain things. Okay. And so you want to be mindful of that. And it's not like you don't want to come from the standpoint of, oh, ha, ha, they, you know, long video somebody I think needs to put themselves on mute. Thank you. Um, so not to study from that standpoint, but to realize that we all have struggles. We all have struggles. And somebody might be very gifted and talented and have a superpower in one thing, but just be mindful. You know that they don't have that in everything. Okay, everyone's unique. Step number four, Focus on calibration, collaboration instead of competition. Focus on collaborating with other people, other people on this team, other people on your team. Focus on collaborating with them and utilizing their strengths, not, co not competing with them, okay? So that is step number four, and I love that. Don't we do that? We really do that in Optavia. We share, like, to help each other out. We collaborate and we don't want to compete with one another. That's not the Octavia way, but it's always good to have that helpful reminder. Step number five, always be a student. Always be a student with what you can do to help, you know, um, just kind of uh, create your own superpowers and um, expand upon yours. Step number six, do something small, really, really, really well, and then expand on that concept. And I like that because, again, it's kind of like this whole program. It's baby steps. So think of something that you do really, really, really well, and it could be a little thing like, I am super darn good at freaking drinking my water. I don't know, whatever, right? And just, you know, just focus on that gratitude that you're really, really great at that thing. Small things add up. Step number seven, do something that you keep putting off. It will instill confidence. That is so key. If you can lay your head down on that pillow every night, having done something that you've been putting off forever, oh my gosh, that so much confidence comes from that and you get a lot of strength from that. And so I love that. Um, and that's something that I've recently done and I posted about it. I have a 5k coming up. I haven't run in forever, you know? And so I've been putting off, Oh gosh, I got to like get back into the running thing. Cause I got this race coming up. Ah, 
So I've started to do that and made me feel a lot better rather than dwelling on like, oh crap, you know, I need to do this, but I keep putting it off because I'm dreading the fact that I haven't started running again. Okay. So those are the seven steps. And I love that. And I think that if we're mindful of those things, it can really help us. Okay. So now it's your turn. And what we're going to do is we are going to focus on step number two um, for the rest of um, the night. We're going to take just a few minutes and we're going to discover our strengths. We're going to think about, and I thought at first, like, what if we share on what other people think of other people's uh, superpowers? But that's not the key. The key is for you yourself to determine what is a superpower that I have or what is a strength that I have? so that your mind will focus on your strengths. And it's funny because I even asked Jeff to share tonight and I asked Jeff to share on like a strength or a superpower. And he said, you know what? Why don't you help me with that? And why don't you tell me <laughs> a strength that I have and a superpower? And I was like trying to help him, but then I realized, no, you should think of one on your own <laughs> because he's got a million. Okay, cheater, Jody says cheater. <laughs> Is that my superpower cheater? <laughs> no. Oh. So, but we're gonna start with you, Jeff. And then, <laughs> and then um, for those few people that I've called on, you know, feel free to take yourself off of mute, um, but I'll call on you too. And we'll just kind of do this exercise. And then um, kind of toward the end of this, I want all of you to also be thinking about your own strengths and superpowers, because I wanna see the chat. And I want to see everybody on this call put at least one strength in the chat. Okay. Are we ready? All right. So we're going to start with Jeff. <laughs> okay. I thought we were going to talk about people's pain points. No. So that's going below the line. Isn't yes. It? We're not going to talk about people's pain <laughs> okay. points. Okay. Um, and just kind of like Priscilla referenced, I've, I've, you know, you talk about people's gifts and a lot of times all kidding aside, other people can recognize your gifts better than you can. So I don't think it's a, you know, I think it's a good thing actually to have people reflect and to share with you what they think that your gifts are, because sometimes you can't see them. And the other thing with that list, I hadn't heard that till now, number seven is killing me, which is the procrastination part. Yeah. And how many times have we finally done something and it's been eating at, I know me for a long time, and then think that really wasn't that hard. Yep. Why did it take me so darn long to do that? Yeah, but let's refocus okay, okay. on your strength. My, see, one your of my, my, my strengths is not focusing. <laughs> so what I, one of my strengths, I think, is that um, I read a lot of stuff and, 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 and research a lot of things. But I think I have the ability to take that information that I learn and to sort of compartmentalize it and organize it in a way in my brain that allows me to explain those things in a way that has a logical flow to them. And I like to think that I can take some complicated things sometimes and explain them in a way that it helps people better understand them. Okay. That and that helps, so that helps with giving lectures and, and helps training other doctors that I see. But it just, I, I bet that's something that I think I can do. Yeah, he has this awesome organizational brain. And he's also a great organizer in the house too, as well. He's like amazing. So that definitely is a superpower that you have for sure. All right. So now I would love to call on Carrie. Carrie was at coach breakfast and she did this exercise at coach breakfast. So Carrie, can you take yourself off mute please and share with us one of your superpowers? Hi everyone. Uh, good to see you tonight. Um, so, um, through this um, FIBIC mastermind class that we've been doing, or I don't know, boot camp, what, whatever it is, mastermind <laughs> that we've been doing, um, you know, we've been encouraged to uh, really reach out to a lot of people. And um, I think one of my biggest strengths is um, being able to maintain lifelong friendships. And so something that I've been really working on is um, reaching out to old friends who uh, I might not have talked to in years, but, you know, anytime we get together, it's like we just pick off, pick up where we left off. And um, so um, I'm trying to reestablish those relationships by like making little coffee dates and, and 
dates for walks and stuff with these people so that, um, you know, I can tell them what I've been doing and ask for recommendations or, you know, if they know of anyone who'd like to get healthy. But really, um, I think my biggest strength is, is maintaining those friendships and also just being a really good listener. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to hone my, uh, my question asking ability because, um, you know, part of being a good lis listener is really, um, you know, anticipating what to ask the person next to really find out more about, um, you know, what they're feeling and uh, more about them in general. So um, I'm trying to still expand on these skills, but I know my strengths and, um, you know, I think those are two of, two of my favorite ones, two of my favorite superpowers. Absolutely, Carrie, you do have those superpowers and I can tell that about you and you are amazing. And I think that that is such a wonderful thing and it speaks volumes for um, your character and the type of person that you are. Cause often, you know, if you can um, have those lasting relationships, it's pretty amazing and it speaks highly for you. So I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, now I'm wondering if um, I can call on somebody that I didn't ask in advance. And um, I'm wondering if Jamie, are you available to come off of mute? Are you in, in, a, in a space where you are able to do that? Sure. Okay. I would love to hear from you. <laughs> I, um, I have an ability to connect with people um, just in passing by and sharing positivity and, and uh, building um, a connection with, I, I'm the person that people talk to at the grocery store, on the bus, that tell their life stories to because I really genuinely, passionately have a heart for people and um, love listening like Carrie mentioned. And um, a huge part of that process is also for me, something that I'm working on is having healthy boundaries in it. So while you're listening and engaging, you also have a mission at hand, right? In terms of how you're gonna engage positivity with people. So um, my, I'm an eternal giver and in the past, I have been a recovery people, recovering people pleaser. And so a huge part of leadership is recognizing healthy boundaries in the process of that. And as you mentioned in the very beginning, having a purpose for the reason that you're doing the tasks. And I also heard that from Priscilla at the beginning, just in time management and how we set up our schedules and the things that we're planning along the way. So um that is a strength for me and at the same time um can sometimes fall into a weakness that i'm aware of with myself in terms of time management so um that awareness is huge so thank you <laughs> you're muted priscilla priscilla you're muted Thank you, sorry about that. I love that so much and I knew you would have something great to share. And another one of your superpowers is definitely you are an amazing note taker and you put things in the chat like step one, step two, and I love that about you. So anyway, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I'm wondering if I can also call, I did, I did ask a couple of people in advance but I see some of them are not on camera. So I'm, oh yes, I see John. I see that you're on camera, John. Would you like to come on and share with us a strength or a superpower that you have? Um, okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share my superpower. Um, I think for me, I'm, I'm a fixer. Like I like to be able to see a problem and try and address it and fix it. But I think maybe more than that is also just learning to like which problems I need to fix and which problems I need to let work themselves out. And so, um, you know, because <laughs> if I try and fix Tammy, sometimes that's not a good thing. Um, 
but you know, um, part of growth for other people sometimes is letting them figuring out their problems. So um, I'm trying to learn when to step in and when to step back. But um, I think my superpower is, is really being able to see a situation, figure out how we're going to get through that situation, and then put the plan into action. So. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that, John. And I can definitely see that about you for sure. And so, um, and I love hearing from um, the guys in the group. That's such a cool thing when we can, um, you know, hear more from you, which is why I specifically wanted to hear from John and Jeff and Rob. I'm not sure I did ask Rob, but I'm not sure I don't see him on camera. So I'm not sure if he's able to. So Rob, you'd be the last one I would call on if you're able to. And if not, that's cool because I have something else that we'll go to. There he is. Wow, I'm sorry. My superpower is obviously not picking up voice text from Priscilla. <laughs> I saw you. I thought you wrote me back about something else. I hadn't listened to it yet. I was going for a walk, but um, my superpower, I think, would be um, encouraging people. I love to encourage people, and I, I feel it comes natural. And you know, when I get a chance in the groups and when people rank up or whatever, or, uh, you know, just say something that I know. Bummer. I think we uh, lost. But be natural about it, that just tell people, hey, you're doing great, keep it up. And I, I think you appreciate that. But, Rob? Technology? Am I freezing yeah, up? A little bit, but yeah. that's okay. Thank you for sharing. That was great. Sure. And we, we got most of it. And okay. um, no problem about not picking up on my um, my. <laughs> but, you know, here at toward the end here, what I would like to do is I would like to just be mindful of people that have put things in the chat. And you know what? That is such a cool thing that you guys are putting your strengths in the chat. So Jamie, we heard from Jamie, um, we heard from Rob, Brandy, connecting, you're easy to talk to. Oh my gosh, what a gift that is for your clients and for coaches that you bring on. That is a huge gift that you have. And Carrie, we heard from Jamie, we heard from Faith, compassion and empathy for others. I love that Faith. Um, having empathy is such a huge, huge life-giving thing. Um, that is definitely going to help you as a coach. So I love seeing that. Cynthia, I attract people and easily build trust with them. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And yes, I mean, a huge, um, that's a huge strength to have as a coach. And I can definitely see that in you. Um, John, we heard from, and Deborah, you're, uh, you have compassion and trust. That is a wonderful superpower to have in life for sure. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be mindful of time here and I would like to say, um, oh, Nanor, I'm not going to not say this organizing and time management with your life, your kids, your job, your friends, your husband, and attacking people with whatever you do, um, in life. I really, really love that so much. Melinda, the ability to be positive and compassionate with others. Sandra, I know what your superpower is. Did you put it in here? Um, anyway, I'm going to be mindful of time, you guys, and I'm just going to say that I hope that I'll put in the seven steps. I'll post it in Leaders in Progress. Please um, be mindful of these things because we're around high achievers all the time, which is a great thing, but comparison is the thief of joy. So one step is that you can do is focus on your own strengths, and it's really going to help you be centered, Okay. So good night, everybody. Have a blessed Thank night, you. and Hold we'll on. see you next oh, time. Sorry, oh. um, Carrie wants to give an announcement real quick. Hi, sorry to keep you, but um, I just wanted to um, announce that I am going to be starting a um, an LA like networking uh, coach breakfast. Um, and if anyone in the LA area is interested. Um, I posted a little poll in the Leaders in Progress group. So go ahead and vote on a day and time that works for you because I'd like to set it up in the next week or so. Um, and it's a great place to invite 
uh, potential coaches or clients too, just so they can meet people in our community and see what it's all about. But um, I was very inspired by Priscilla's uh, breakfasts in Long Beach, and I've been going to those for the past few weeks, and I love them. And um, it's such a joy to be there and to connect with all these amazing coaches. So um, I'd like to do something in the same vein of that. And um, definitely like post in the comments of that poll, like where you're at, so we can figure out like a location that's kind of central to everyone. But um, I hope you guys all have a great night and thank you so much. Awesome, thank you guys. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. See you guys Monday. Bye.